Hello viewers, here's a look at the lighting in the computer room. It's a little blurry, here's the overall view. So over here we have a halogen floodlight and it kind of illuminates the pictures and the ceiling over here. And on the table there is a 7 watt, I think it is, torpedo bulb in this lamp. Over here there is another halogen floodlight to light up behind the computer there. And then another halogen floodlight to illuminate this tree. On this table there's a regular lamp with a 43 watt halogen bulb in it. Another halogen floodlight over there by that computer. And over here there is a lamp that I made many years ago and that also has one of those 43 watt halogen bulbs in it. And this lamp is really practical because it kind of functions as a table as well so I don't lose any of the surface area on the table. In the fan chandelier we have four 60 watt or 60 watt equivalent 43 watt halogen bulbs and those uh, are only running at partial brightness. And in the ceiling there's a 40 watt incandescent bulb and I put that shade on there so it looks a little bit better than it did. I'd like that to be a little bit dimmer but I think a 25 bulb would be a little bit too dim so we'll just keep the 40 for now. By the computer I used to use these on the regular um, and they looked nice but what got really old was changing out the batteries because it was kind of a production because in total there's 24 batteries in those lights and my charge only takes 12 batteries at once so that was kind of an annoyance not to mention it took a while to change the batteries so I eventually went around and got these other lights after living with these for several years and these lights are a lot more practical because there's only two battery boxes that take three batteries each so it's just a change of six batteries but they were advertised as a 2700 Kelvin in color and I just don't really think they are this is a true 2700 Kelvin light and this to me looks more like maybe 3500 or 4,000 Kelvin so I'm not thrilled with these but they were relatively inexpensive and they get the job done so I'm keeping them now to control it I use this X10 system and I've been meaning to record a video of this system for probably three years now I always say that I'm going to record it around Christmas time and then for whatever reason I just never do. So I'll show a little bit of this now. I really like this system. It's been around for probably close to 50 years now and um, I, this probably is not a very popular opinion but I personally abhor the whole Internet of Things concept. I can't stand devices that go on Wi-Fi and, and and you know work off of smartphones and all that junk. I just have no use for it. It creates so much extra hassle. It's not very reliable. It's confusing. It's complicated. It's just not for me. I would never use stuff like that. I, I don't even like Wi-Fi. The only time I use Wi-Fi is if I go outside and I want to use the computer. Otherwise, I don't use Wi-Fi. I use Ethernet because it just works. It's fast. It's reliable. And this is the same way. It just works. It's simple enough to be 
uh, very dependable, very reliable, but at the same time it provides a nice bit of convenience provided by simple technology. So, no, not so much in here, but like for instance in the bedroom, I can go lay in the bed and then turn the lights off all just from this remote, which I think is fantastic. Um, anyway, so this, you know, turns the lights off. It works uh, numerically, so I, I've got eight eight different channels on this particular remote, and I happen to have eight lights in here, so that's number one, two, three, four, etc. It goes around the room. And um, most of these modules, at least the lamp ones, can dime. Unfortunately, the, um, the module that controls that light up there cannot. So that one's stuck at the brightness it is, but put this back up a little bit. Um, this lamp here, I, I tend to lower down a little bit because it's just kind of blinding. Um, but the rest of them are, are running at almost full power. And um, this system, you know, it, it is old technology, but one of the things I do like about it is that the um, even the older modules, and I have some modules that are going on, you know, 30 something years old. Actually, I have an archaic one uh, under here that's visible. That one's been around forever. And it, it just works perfectly fine, never skips a beat, and it still works with this remote, which is uh, this particular unit is kind of old, but the model it's still made. Um, and there's a lot of things you can do with this system, you can get Timers. I have a, a, a timer that I use during Christmas time to control all the lights. I don't really have a use for the timer, you know, on a regular basis. But um, I have the timer module for the the Christmas lights. There actually is, and I have it somewhere. There is an interface that you can connect to the computer. It's very old. I want to say it actually connects via serial port. And it allows you to send the RF signal to the main transceiver module from a program on the computer. I should get that out and do a video of that someday. I gotta dig out a computer that's still got a serial port on it. Um, anyways, so we got that, and then um, it also has like motion sensor lights. I mean, not lights, uh, motion sensors that you can use to turn different lights on and off. It's got hardwired controls so you can replace a regular wall like a light switch with, with a, a module so there's a lot of different things you can do with this despite the fact that it's very old and aside from the fools that that will go on the internet and give it poor ratings because it's obsolete and old technology and doesn't have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and all the garbage that we really don't need it's very well liked and it's, it's got very high reviews. Um, this is the appliance module, which I use all the time for Christmas stuff. Uh, you can see it's got very good ratings. Not too cheap. Actually, it's kind of expensive. Um, you know, but it works. And it works very well. And you can see this remote control is also very well liked. And actually, this remote, I think, is relatively inexpensive. Um, especially considering how long it lasts. I've had this remote for... Oh man, at least probably 10 years now. And uh, it works just fine. So anyways, that's that. Um, that's the lighting in the computer room. And that's a little bit of a look at the X10 controller. I actually have a lot of um, very old controllers for this set. Like some of the wood grain timers and stuff. If there's anybody that's interested in those, I can do a video uh, on those at some point as well. So, if there's interest in this video, I can also do another one in the bedroom as well. So, let me know if you like this video or not, and perhaps I will do another one. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.